This is John McNaughton. I want to share with you the scariest painting I've ever created. A haunted building for the accusator was once a place of great rapport. Fenced from within and now from without, we have no idea what they're talking about. The mummy of this ghoulish troop fills his bucket with treats and goop. Follow his lead and ask for treats, but his tricks are filled with painful deceits. She holds the keys that were once procured, the potions and spells that have occurred, and in the future she may announce a coveted chair in the people's house. <laughs> then from the city that never sleeps, he finds a way to spin his gore, because politics is his life pursuit, and less is less, and more is more. There is a ghost that walks amongst them, he hangs like an elf on a shelf. But if you think he's dead, just remember, he did not kill himself. <coughs> Shall we hail the Queen of Darkness? The witchiest of the West? She stirs with her power to coalesce and place the country under house arrest. <coughs> they say he's slick as a willy and a heart full of rot. Did he do that to them? I never. Of course not. That's not the devil. He's not even bad. His policies are just the launching pad to fundamentally change a country that's blessed for more crime, division, and social unrest. Who's this that runs the committees? He's protecting the dirty nitty-gritties. Not a single Republican he won't eschew. He'll suck the blood right out of you. Remember, there is no justice when laws are ignored. Here lies the truth across the board, that when free speech shall rest in peace, evil wins and good retreats. <laughs>